Dorf, and it's big Andrew Gilding versus even bigger John Henderson as these two duke out in the first round looking to book their place in round two to face the number 12 seed, the raging ball, Terry Jenkins. Dan Dawson in the commentary box for this one alongside me, Rod Harrington. Well, we've got two distinct characteristics of these two players. The rocker, John Henderson, and he gets the rocking motion going well. And he's really hard to beat, to be quite honest. Hits a lot of 140. It's never a big 180, but Andrew Gilding. I want to see the thumbs up. <laughs> I want to see the thumbs up so our cameramen be on your toes. We want to see a 180 from Andrew. And the little thumb, just to the side. Occasionally he gives it the double thumb. He That's does. That's a red letter day when that happens. But he, he was really playing well, wasn't he? I mean, just lately, he's gone off the boil a little bit. He, he has done, although he did he did have a little run to a, a semi-final in uh, Coventry a month after the UK Open. The UK Open was when he really, really... I mean, he was tearing people apart. There was probably only one person that could have beaten him that weekend, and he ran into Michael Van Gerwen in the semi-final. He averaged 108 and still lost. But... It's not quite been that consistent level of performance, but when he does hit a bit of form, Andrew Gilding can mix it with the very, very best. Yeah, you're right. He is a tough competitor, and, and so is John Henderson. I mean, he had a, a great run. I think it was in Venray. It was uh, actually it was in Thank Munich. You, the German dance master. Yeah, don't you worry about that, that, Rod. I'm making my business. <laughs> I've forgot my glasses, so all my paperwork here I can't see. That's fine. Yeah, it was Munich where Big John Henderson it made it to the Munich, final. Yes. And he lost 6-5 to Michael Van Gerwen, as everybody was doing, losing to MVG in the first four European Tour events of the year. That reign of terror finally came to an end in the last European Tour event. Yes, it's going to be interesting with Michael, because he, he lost to uh, Benito, mm -hmm. and then he lost uh, in Japan. So yes, the last did. two tournaments he's lost, you know, and that, and that just puts you a little bit as on the back foot, as we say. So it's going to be interesting to see what Michael Van Gerwen's going to turn up this weekend. He wants to get right wow. back on the horse, as they say. Get the winning streak back. Yeah, you've got to bear in mind that Michael Van Gerwen, leading up to those two tournaments, was winning more than half of the tournaments he was entering in 2015, 16. which is a quite phenomenal run. But he, he was playing brilliant, but he's also having a little bit of luck. In, yep. You know, when you talk about Dubai, I mean, he was behind in all three of those matches and possibly could have lost them. Um but didn't, just got over the line. But all of a sudden, your, your little bit of luck that you need, no matter how good you are, you've got, got to have that little bit of run of luck. And perhaps that's deserted him a little while, for a little while, so we'll see what he does this weekend. Yeah, Michael Van Gerwen does join the action along with the rest of the seeded players tomorrow, entering in the last 32 stage. He's going to play the winner of our last game on this evening. That's Jamie Lewis, the young Welshman, or Michael Rosenau, the German, is gilding. There we it. it up. Did we miss the thumb or didn't he do it? I don't think he did it. We're going to have, to have worrying time. It is worrying. We're going to have to have a word with him about that. I'm sure we'll see it before the end. Of this one. Now Andrew Gilding Andrew really looking at double 14 like here. Let's get a first leg on the board. A bit close to the double 11. That down for double seven. Game and he gets it. 1-0 Andrew, Andrew Gilding. Gilding. And that is John perhaps significant because the only time these two have met was in Munich when Big John Hendo made it all the way to the final. And he destroyed Andrew Gilding 6-0. Not many people average. have done that. Mm. Yeah, the Andrew Gilding 6-0 with 102 average. Then he was even better in seeing off Adrian Lewis in the next round. Hit 107, 108. Wow, right are we going to see something similar from the Highlander this weekend? Oh, this looks good. What a red that looks pretty good. In sync is the rock up. It isn't the throw that you would teach any youngsters, I have to say. The grip is just like everybody else's grip. Nothing wrong with it at all. But uh, Peter Manley's the only other one that Nine used to have a bit of a, a forward motion. I remember a, an American called Scott LaRue that was a lot worse than, or better than Big John. I mean, really did. Basically walking to the hockey and yeah, throwing it. He's he like did, the happy yeah. Gilmore of dance. Yes, he was. Yeah, Scott LaRue. 
never forget it. I played him once and I thought, yeah, this is easy, and he battered me. <laughs> I can't remember much five. else, but I remember him battering me. I'm sure he remembers it well as well. Now, Gilding has left himself for 170. Henderson needs to find a treble, Fifth not day. that one. Andrew, you recall the Gilding may well get six darts from here. Could do it in three. It's on. No longer. I was going to say the 25 is a good shot here because uh, he'll come back for double top. Because he's going to come back for two at double top. And that previous visit from Big John has, could have cost him this leg and a break of throat. So, tops for Gilding. You see, Gilding so far over 35. on the left-hand side. In fact, Hendo so far on the right. They could 11. both actually stand at the hockey at the same time. And that's saying something, considering they are both rather sizable. We could actually commentate in the middle. <laughs> <laughs> Set a little table up there. And that's a bad dart from John. And another bad 25. dart. He really hasn't done anything. I mean, Andrew if Andrew goes and misses 20. this, Big John may only get a dart at the bullseye. Well, he doesn't miss it, so Andrew it's 2-0 to Andrew Gilding. Like to throw first. Game on. Well, that's yes, and a break of throw for Andrew Gilding. And that looks perfect for... Oh, we've got to have the thumbs up here. One hundred and forty. Just the ton 40. Henderson, got to find his range. 100. Both of these guys coming through the qualifiers, as did everybody you see in action today. Gilding, Soft, Gary Stone and Andy Bolton. Only dropping five legs in total. Henderson, the mile-high Mark Hilton and Kirk Shepard. Qualified for Risa on the same day, but he didn't get very far. Ended up losing out to Matt Clark. Yeah, it's all a bit scrappy with Hendo at the minute. Certainly not hitting the heights we saw from him on the European Tour early this year in that brilliant run to the final. Did have a quick word with Hendo earlier on. 16. Reminded him that he played Gilding on that brilliant run. His best run on the PDC by some distance. And... He said, yeah, well, I could do with something similar. Nice little run this weekend going into the match play, wow, seeing as I've got a pretty tricky draw. First round, Phil Taylor. Man unbeaten in seven years at Blackpool. Pretty tricky, you could call that. <laughs> and playing exceptionally well. Played really well in Japan, did Phil. And he's going to be tough to beat in Blackpool because of the legs. They'd have a better chance of beating Phil over sets, but uh, legs, his leg on leg pressure, as we call it, is phenomenal. 100. Andrew, you require 122. Now, the 1 2 2 for Gilding. Should get a dart at the bullseye at least. Oh, he misses the big number. 72. John, now, will Henderson give himself a dart? Trouble 17 he wants. He has given himself a dart at the ball. Get and he gets it! Third leg. John Henderson. Full flag, John well, is that the thing first. that's going to get Game on. John Henderson on a run? And then missing that big number. It could have been Andrew Gildin that hit the bullseye. And walking away 3-0. And he's got the break of throw back as Hendo. Twenty-two. Look at this, Andrew Gilding. One hundred and forty. That familiar plod to the ball to retrieve his darts. One hundred.
Coming up, we've got Devin Peterson against Nathan Aspinall. Stephen Bunting, the bullet, against Jihan Artur, the top German player in action this weekend. Dirk van Dijvenbode against Leo Hendricks is an all-Dutch affair. And then Jamie Lewis against Michael Rose now. Round things off in the evening session. That one's for the right to take on Michael van Gogh in the world number one. Yes, I had a good little chat with Stephen Bunting earlier on. He didn't hear a word I said because he had his ear earplugs in. Yes. It was me yapping away to him and I didn't even realise. So uh, old age coming on there. I asked him about jet lag. He said, what jet lag? I said, I just fell asleep all the way. <laughs> well, That's a better visit from Big John. Gilding has effectively stolen the darts in this one as he looks to get that break of throw back and he's going to put himself in a decent position, it appears. A very decent position. Don't want to go for another one of those. 137. That will do for Andrew Gilding. He'll get two darts at tops when he returns. Sixty. And that's not Andrew really pressured the shot at all, so Gilding have to get that leg back and to go two legs clear again. Eighteen. Hendo's not quite Jordan close enough. He needed the treble with the previous visit. Well, Gilding, three clear darts at tops for a 3-1 lead. And to get that break back. Doing his best to block our camera angle there. Down for double ten. 30. Well, well, well. Trying to require 40. Well, John, <clears throat> don't look a gift horse in the mouth, I think is the old saying. That's a pretty good guide for John. Oh, and like Gilding has... Hold it low 20. and you won't get better chances Andrew, than that. Answer. Both players very scrappy on the doubles. Double two. Six score. Wow. Join 21 darts each. And still no winner. And it, it goes on. It could be one of those legs. 15. Andrew, you require four. Double two then for Gilding. Game to put this leg to play. bed. And, well, and it's an ugly one, Fifth but it's worth Andrew exactly the same first. as a nine data. Game on. Winning ugly, we call it. It's exactly the same. Was winning brilliantly, I'm afraid. They all count, as you said. And it's the guys that can win ugly that win more tournaments, I'm afraid, because not everybody is going to batter people. 23. Better to win with an 80 average than to lose with a 100. There are players I've heard that would contradict that, <clears throat> which is the biggest load of rubbish I've ever heard. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Another thing that makes me laugh is when you, you beat someone, they, they apologise for not playing well enough. <laughs> that is the one that always made me laugh. Thank you very much. 99. Oh, John Henderson needs to step it up. Eighty-five. Yeah, it's not quite. I mean, for obvious reason, the more moving parts you've got, the more chance you've got of going wrong, and John just hasn't got that rocking motion in sync. And being right-handed, you know, the wasted darts normally will go 60. into the five.
Andrew Gilding, despite making a couple of finals on the PDC Tour last year and four semi-finals wow. this year, including that UK Open one. Yet to do it on the European Tour, maybe. This could be his weekend. He's not made it past the last 16 before now. Terry Jenkins awaits wow. if he can get through this one, but Big Hendo has fired in a slightly better leg. He's down to a potential two-dart finish on the gilding throw. Well, he's going to have to come down for those 90. Well, no, he's staying there. Wow. Well, that's understandable because it was so inviting for another hmm. treble, which he needed. Took a gamble, didn't pay off, but it was a, an educated risk. 36. Andrew, 19, a bit trickier than the 120 119. he would have left if he'd hit a single 19. Well, there's the nine. Now then. This would hurt. 89. He'd want the bullseye. Trying to require Fulton. Missed it by a little way in the end. Game shot of but Hendo made no mistake with that one. 3-2 and a topsy-turvy old first. game we've got here. Game on. All of a sudden, Hendo is throwing to level the match. Gilding does have the advantage of having thrown first, though. But you get the feeling, whoever can just raise their game by a notch or two, it's it's there for the taking. Neither of these guys playing anywhere near their their you know best standard. No, if, if someone can put a good couple of legs in, a couple of level 13, level 14, wow. you know you feel they're going to run away with it. But at the moment, they're the player, and we have to say, well, you've said it, Dan. They're not playing nowhere near the standard that we know they can play. 85. Andrew Gilding settles into his little. Niche at the left hand side of the hockey. I mean, he is one of the few players being right handed that stands right over on the left hand side. Yeah, does it give our cameramen problems at it times? It does, yes. We have. They did introduce the wow. Gilding cam at the last European Tour event, which got a shot from above, just in case Gilding was blocking the way. We don't have that luxury here. And you see, 215s, 216s, that's pretty good. That real scrappy wow. leg, but this is better. There's the thumb. There's the thumb, Rod. I knew we'd get it in the end. I have to say, I can remember a bit slow there, because they nearly missed it. Wow. We're going to have to sharpen up a bit. 60. Andrew, you require that serene, like a giant spherical swan. Gives it the 180, gives it the thumb. Just go and pour myself a little drink. Then I'll have a plod over to the hockey. Not rushing for anyone. Well, that'll do. Oh, oh that, that won't. won't. <laughs> well, seen, I mean, this time he's, he's not going to be punished, but that's twice that he's missed big numbers and not had a dart and a double. And he did it before when he missed the 18. John took out the 1-2-1. One, one. Well, he's not punished Andrew there by Henderson, so Gilding is looking at double top here. He has not exactly been deadly on this so far. That's a little way off. There's a look of consternation on Andrew Game Gilding's face, but the double ten man. comes to his rescue. 4-2 Gilding. Leg, Andrew to throw first. Game on. Well, I think the crowd are starting to sing Dave Chisnell, is it? Is it Dave Chisnell? It could be. I, I, the thing is with the German crowd, they're a bit like the Japanese ones in that they'll just, they'll think of a player and then wow. suddenly burst into song. Opens the door if Henderson can put in a big one here. 
and he might do. And he is doing. And he has done. So this is the start of the fight back from the Highlander. We're going to make it through to the next round where a Terry Jenkins awaits. 14. Well, he's got a chance to get the throw back. Shouldn't let it up from here. Will he go 25 or stay there? No, he stayed there. He's going to give himself two darts and his exceptional leg. We, you know, we kept saying that you know, if someone could just put a real good, quick, fire couple of legs together, and if John Henderson could do that now, then he's going to be on the run. Andrew Gilden on the back foot. A bit scrappy, Gilden. And, and just an odd door every visit. He is, it? yeah, and he's missing big numbers going for checkouts, which has not really been like Andrew for a, a while. Oh, that's a perfect dart. This has got going. 21. Oh, surprising that it didn't, Andrew but Gilden is unlikely to make him pay. Back on 5-5, on five, five. we shall see. Well, he could do. Yeah, again, not really threatening that treble 19. 87. So, a big hand up. Showing the required 20. Wants double 10. Right on the wire again. Does Can not miss with his last dart in hand. There. It's a 15 dart. I think John to throw first. Game on. Well, he scored very well, did Hendo there. Now he's got to follow it up. He's got to get this leg back. He's got to start taking the game to Andrew Gilden. And, uh, you know, he had a great last leg scoring wise and then goes off with that, which it just opens the door for Gilden to come in with a 140 and all of a sudden nick the throw. Or even a 180. you see 97 plays 94 in the first nine averages we both know these guys can produce better than that the overall average is certainly a long way off what they'd expect of themselves but it does underline the point if somebody can just raise their game a little bit in these dying stages it is right there for the taking is it going to be gilded it could be. It could be. Well, Hendo cannot afford a visit without a treble. So it will be Gildan that gets the throw back again. Well, he's nicked the wow. treble with the last dart. So, Hendo should get six darts from 185. It's only a 140 or a 180 that's really going to punish him. It's not overly hurt. But now Gildin, sorry, Henderson needs to find a treble. If he hits that treble, may go 25. Might no stay. He'll stay there for that. Oh, yeah, that's because why. that was he's so inviting. Andrew, you require 121. Well, a one-two-one. It could be a game changer. It could happen. Oh, he's missed a big number again. How many times has he done three that? Three times. 81. Yes, three times at crucial times as well, Dan. But he's missed five. the big number and failed to have a dart at a double. And he's Hendo does it. John Henderson. Well, John Henderson, for the first time in the match, the wins first. two consecutive Game legs. And, and Gildin's one of those players that you don't expect to miss big numbers. You know, he's, he's very methodical in his throw. He isn't a, a real fast Nine thrower. He makes sure that the dart's in the right grip in his hand. He so, doesn't speed up or slow down no. or anything. It's very, very sort of rhythmical. And you can see the game has... Those winning legs are actually decent. Wow. It's just that a lot of the time the opponent's not really applying a great deal of pressure. That We've had that nightmare leg in the fourth where they were both struggling to hit anything. And that's why the overall averages are down. And also, you know, like the last two legs, the last three legs, you probably find 
the opponents who's the players lost the leg is wanting too much. Yeah. They're just not doing it together consistently. And a strange old game we've got here, but the upshot is that it's four apiece. Gilding, he has got his nose in front. He does have to throw in two of the three remaining legs, including this one, of course. And we'll check out percentages. I mean, they're hitting one in four. Their darts at double. It's going to give your opponent opportunities. Sixty-eight. Scruffy. Yes, he had two great legs, did Big John, and, and now he's just kind of made it very easy for Gildin to go one leg away from a second round match. And he's just picking off the odd treble with a visit. Ninety-seven. Well, Hendo, as we're now hitting a lot of 140s, needs to find one of those right now. 41. Andrew, you Yeah, not happy 78. with himself. The world number 37. Oh, 25 ball. Wasn't to be. Doesn't need to go that route with Hendo on 209. Well, that is the fourth time he's done that, Dan. Like I said, that's very unlike Andrew Gilding. A bit of a nervy game from both players. 95. Andrew, you require 40. Well, he's got three clear darts to go within one leg of the next round. Game and Goldfinger does there. not miss with that one. Andrew it's another leg. It's done in 15, Take 16 darts. From first game on. Make or break for the big Scotsman, John Henderson. One. Surely he's going to switch. Yeah, and a very good switch as well. And the way them darts were laying, if he'd have followed that up, then he would have deflected it into the ones. 57. Advantage, Gildin. And he would love to end this right now. He doesn't want to go to a deciding leg. The way this game has gone, I mean, it would be anybody's. 46. Missed opportunity again for Andrew Gilding. 60. Well, what promised to be one of the highlights of the first round in terms of quality hasn't lived up to, you know, perhaps some of the more unlikely games that we've seen today. I mean, the brilliant performances we've seen from the likes of Roby John Rodriguez and Dimitri Vandenberg. One so far today, these two played nowhere near the capabilities. We could have a very dramatic conclusion to this one. one Gets him to a finish. Well, we see Joey Cullen take the 1 4 4 out of the previous match. And Gildin could really put some pressure on, and he's going to. Comes down for the 17s. Oh, oh that's a perfect man. setup for Andrew 71. Gildin. This is make or break John for John Henderson. He needs to find a couple of treble 20s, and he's not going to do it. So Gildin comes back. 100. What must be about Andrew the seventh break of throw on the trot, I think. So uh, we had a couple of holds, but one, two, three, four, five. Yes, it, it has been a ridiculous game, and it would be a similar ending if Andrew Gilding was an L double six. Twelve score. Three match darts, Georgia and all of a sudden, John Henderson has the chance to take us to a decider. Topsy wants, and it's Topsy gets. We're going all the way. Andrew Gilding. Now Gilding the question the is. Can he pick himself up from that, dust on. himself off, and make advantage of throwing first in this deciding leg? He has missed three match darts. The setup shot was absolutely incredible. Left him double 12, but he couldn't kill it off. 
job, but look at the way he started this. Well, we said there's going to be plenty of One, legs in this match, so four, if you've backed over on legs, you are sitting there laughing. Eighty-two. Just the eighty-two from Henderson. Gilding. He gave himself the opportunity in the last leg. He couldn't get the job done. Forty-four. Well, a chance here for Henderson to get back in the match and perhaps steal a bit of the throw. I think that said it all from Andrew the way he chucked his towel down on the table. Oh, make no mistake, nobody's chucking in the towel just yet. Both of these guys have every chance of closing out the victory. One of them's going to do it. 60. One of them has to. Well, it's in John Henderson's hands now. Another one of those 140s would do him very nicely. 99. A ton is good. A ton 40 would be very, very good. That's a decent, decent miss. 100. Just. those would be very nice for Big John oh what a time for him to find another one of those 140s and now it's make or break for Andrew Gilding stand and deliver Andrew Gilding 157 it might have had to go he's survived three match darts John Henderson now he's got three of his own in the deciding leg Gilding sat on double 10 for the match is he going to get a go at it I thought he was going to cross himself I, there, I thought, John Henderson. <laughs> yes, I thought he was give it, going to give it that. Uh, you're up there on your own, John. No one can help you. No divine power is coming to your aid, Hendo. This is all on you, big man. Double top. Three darts at it for 6-5. Nowhere near. No score. Unbelievable. Now it's Henderson that has passed up three clear darts to win the match. Gildin had three in the previous leg. Now he's going to get three at double ten to finally wrap this match up. How many more chances are these guys going to need? Ten score. Three match darts in the Turn tenth leg for Andrew Gildin. Three missed in this leg. Hando's missed three on his own. He's coming back at double top. He is his favourite. Well, he did the right thing. If you're going to miss, you miss above. And then go and hit it second dart after that guide. Oh. Double ten. Oh, snuck it in the corner. Hando looks to the side. John Henderson has somehow come through that. Six match dart missed by Andrew Gill.